It is the responsibility of every parent to call greatness out of their child. It doesn't matter how bad mannered that child is. They have a great destiny in God. Hata kama wewe mzazi unasikia huyu 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 mtoto amenishinda. Wengine hata wanasemanga afadhali ningezaa gunia niwe nikibebea avocado. God cares for our children. Yes, welcome to the Wisdom Talks. I am Joe Wisdom. Ah, uh, nothing that gives me joy as coming to you every time with a new topic. And uh, basically navigating the waters of this life with new ideas with wisdom phronesis did i tell you that there are three levels of wisdom one is called uh sophia sophia is theoretical wisdom by the way i have a daughter called sophia all right then second one we have sonesis sonesis is is, is critical wisdom uh, my, my my other daughter is called sonia sonesis then we have phronesis practical wisdom i think i need i need a boy that i'll call phronesis so phronesis is practical wisdom i'm bringing to you phronesis practical wisdom not here as no things that you cannot apply in life we are looking at wisdom for life and this time you know we are coming from uh, a place where we are looking at some epi- uh, some several episodes that we talked about relationships and how we should relate with others relationship matters relationship with one another we are products of relationship i know i am here today because of a relationship i mean we are today because of a relationship there are gentlemen and a lady watching me right now here with me they are here because of a relationship and you know what you know someone who knows someone it is someone who knew someone who connected you to this place you are we are products of relationship and let me surprise them because all of them are not married they are so they are worried you know you are either worried or you are either married or worried i know they are worried and because they are worried i want to i want to let them know that they don't need to be worried because their partner in life if they ever be interested to marry but i don't i don't see any one of them uh, wanting to to become a, a father or a catholic father or a nun i don't think so I don't see that intention in their eyes. So at some point I know they'll need a partner in life. But that partner is connected they, they, it is it, that partner is somewhere. And they'll need to be connected by someone to that person. So they know someone who knows someone who knows that partner. So live with people well. Live with people well. Actually your next assignment is hidden in a relationship. Your miracle for your next level is in a relationship. God uses people. Actually, it takes a man to get the best out of another man. It is men who will point you into your next assignment. God uses people. So the issue of saying that me and God are majority is okay, but God will use people. I know there are people who say that Mungu ukuja na usitumane. Let me tell you God will always send people. God will always send people. So when God says let me show you something. When we sinned, when Adam sinned and went against the will of God, God sent a man called Jesus Christ. Relationship. For God so loved the world that he gave his son. Relationship. When the children of Israel cried to God when they were in captivity for 400 years God sent a man called Moses When people when the children of Israel cried that they wanted a king a human king to be like other nations God raised a king called Saul and when Saul disobeyed God God raised a king called David God will always send people So you must relate with the people well. Maintain a good relationship with others. Now today I am coming to you with a very good topic now that schools are closed. I want to talk about wisdom for parenting. Wisdom for parenting. And I want to give some some points that every parent should know about their child or parenting. 
I may not talk about a lot of experience in parenting, but you know what? Wisdom is like fire. It is borrowed from those who have it. So I want to share the little that I know. And you out there, share the little that you know with another person. That is how we grow. Number one, as a parent, you need to know that parents are custodians of the destinies of their children. As a parent, you are a custodian. You are a custodian of the destiny of your child. That is why when the child is born, when, the, when, 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 when any parents go to hospital to deliver a child, that child is not taken to the teacher immediately. That child is given to the parent to go and nurse that child. Later on, when the child is of age, they now go to school. So parents are custodians of the destinies of their children. And God will demand of us accountability of how we brought up our children. Number two, we need to know about parenting, is that parenting is a responsibility that cannot be delegated. Parenting is a responsibility, parent reason to me, that cannot be picked from where you left. Is a full-time job. Parenting is a full-time job. You cannot delegate it. You cannot pick it up from where you left. So it becomes very important for you as a parent to know that you walk with your child. I know a time came and we, are, we left our children to Sunday school teachers. We left our children to teachers. We, we left our children to our aunties. We left our children to our house helps, our house managers. But I want you to know that parenting is a responsibility that cannot be delegated. You can't pick it up from where you left. Let us carry out our responsibilities. In whichever way you want to do it, allow God to help you receive the wisdom on how you can raise up a child. That's why the Bible says that raise up your child in the way that they should go. And when they are of age, they will never depart from those ways. Who is in a better position than the parent to raise that child in a way that they should go? Number two, Number three, every parent should know that every child has a great destiny in God. Every child has a great destiny in God. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter how bad-mannered that child is. They have a great destiny in God. Hata kama wewe mzazi unasikia huyu 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 mtoto amenishinda. Wengine hata wanasemanga afadhali ningezaa gunia niwe nikibebea avocado. Ama nikienda soko nayo. Let me tell you you are only a steward. God entrusted you with that life. Life comes from the Lord. That child has a great destiny in God. And let me tell you, let me speak to a parent who is going through a very difficult time. Huye mtoto wako amekusumbua mpaka unasikia kama unaweza mpeana. I want you to know that God loves that child more than you does. God cares about that child more than you do. You are only a custodian. You are only a steward. So know that regardless of your level, ya kusumbuana na yeye, huyo mtoto, the best thing that you can do is to commit that child to the Lord. Mutoe kwa mungu, abia mungu, huyu ni mutoto wako. Mungu fanya na ye vile unataka. Muachirie kwa mungu, wacha baba yake ya deal na ye. Let God deal with that child. God has a destiny, a great destiny. Let me tell you, have you studied 1 Chronicles 4, 9 and 10? Talks about Jabez. This young man called Jabez, the Bible says that and Jabez was more honorable than all his brothers. And his mother called him Jabez because he bore him in pain. I want you to see some position that parents find themselves. Jabez's mother named Jabez, Jabez because she bore him in pain. But what Jabez's mother didn't know is that Jabez had a great destiny in God. Possibly she was born in pain, and possibly the mother went through a very difficult time to raise that child. But let me tell you, when Jabez was of age, 
The Bible says, and Jabez cried to the Lord God of Israel. Jabez cried to his father God. That is why even a single mother you need to know that God is the father of your children. When Jabez cried and the Bible says, and God heard his cry and answered his prayer. I also want to take you to an instant where, an instance, where Hagar was sent away by Abraham. When Sarah demanded that Hagar was, 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 a, was a problem to, him, to her. And Hagar put, uh, and, and were given a bottle of water and set into the wilderness, to the desert. And when the bottle of water was, was over, this woman could not sit and watch the child die. So she took the child, put the child somewhere far away at her shade, and walked away that she didn't want to see that child die. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, and the boy cried to the Lord, and the Lord heard the cry of the boy, opened the eyes of the mother, and the mother saw a well of water. That child lived and became prosperous. What I'm saying is that God cares for our children. You parent who is there, stranded, not knowing, your child has been a, a, tra has been a trouble to you, Wengine umebadilisha shule kama tano. Wengine hata sahi. Sa, as we talk, you don't know where your child is. You know, some of them are even telling you, you don't understand me, you don't love me. Some, some of them, you don't even know where they are right now. But I came to tell you that God cares about them. All that you need is to commit them to the Lord. Just do what you're supposed to do. So every child has a great destiny. And you are not a parent by accident. Just do what you are supposed to do. Carry out your responsibility with faithfulness. You'll be surprised what God will do. Some people who have great destiny, some people who are doing great things in life today are people who never looked like they were going anywhere. But God changes people. I have people who are within high school and some of them know themselves as I speak. They are not they are not best they are not uh, very good in discipline in high school but today they are pastors some of them were even suspended in school today they are pastors today they are great men they are big in corporate they are big great business and business businessmen and women why their destiny was in god is very important something else that i want also to say is that Always see greatness. Always see the good in your child. Always see the good and call greatness out of your child. It is the responsibility of every parent to call greatness out of their child. It is your responsibility as a parent to call your son, to call your daughter into maturity. It is the responsibility of the father to call the boy into maturity. It is the responsibility of the mother to call their daughter into maturity. Call greatness out of your child. Call greatness. Keep prophesying to them. I want to give, as, 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 as I conclude today's episode, uh, I want to give you an example of a woman who had a son. And this son was, 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 a, was, a, he, uh, he was addicted in drugs and alcoholism. And one day, the villagers came and, and, and asked the woman, uh, Mama so and so, your son is, your, your son, ako uko kwa mitaro, amelala uko, amelewa. And the mother told them, whose son? That is not my son. All that I know is that my son is not a drunkard. My son is a pastor. You say his son is a pastor. My son is a pastor. My son cannot drink. So this woman was not speaking what she was seeing. This woman was speaking what she wanted to see. As a, as a man, as a woman of faith, you don't speak what you see. You speak what you want to see. You don't join others to fight your child. You don't fight your, the teachers. You don't fight. You don't join. Even if some people, the villagers, have given up on your child, you should be the last person to give up on that child. This woman keep, kept on saying, calling that child into greatness. He is mature. He is big. He is drinking. But the mother kept saying, my son is not a drunkard. My son is a pastor. Finally, as we speak, that man is a minister of the gospel. 
He was giving a testimony somewhere and I was so much encouraged. Never give up on your child. If God has not given up on them, you should be the last person to give up. Let me tell you. And even if you do, even if you do, God will never give up on them. And let me tell you, let me encourage a parent somewhere. Your child is fighting those battles because of what they carry. In every man there is a mind. They are fighting those battles because the devil doesn't want them to experience destiny. It is the devil. Your child possibly has nothing to do with the battles they are fighting. It is the enemy fighting them because of what is just about to happen. As a parent, I want to encourage you that no matter how difficult your child has become, no matter how difficult it has been raising that child, I want you to know that that child destiny is already secured in God. The mother of that man who was drinking refused to call him a drunkard. He refused to join the villagers to call the child a drunkard. The mother kept on insisting, my child is not a drunkard, my child is a pastor. And finally, the young man became a pastor. Today, he is a minister of the gospel. So I want you to know that even if there's so much pleasure to give in into the demands of the society, so, so much pressure pushing you to speak what you see, remain on the path of faith. And in faith, we don't speak what we see, we speak what we want to see. There's a great future for your child. As a parent, you are a custodian of that great destiny. You are a steward. Be faithful with your parenting law. Let's meet at our next episode, looking at the responsibility of children. Wisdom that our children need to live a successful life from the parenting side. I'm Joe Wisdom, and that is Wisdom Talks. Mm -hmm.